Welcome back. It is Sunday, December 17th in the NBA. My three favorite picks are on the way. Let's recap yesterday. Solid three in one day. Let's talk about it now on a six and one run. Let's continue that on Sunday. We had Cade Cunningham's over in points. He had 20 points going into the fourth. Some people that were at 20 and a half were a little bit worried. Still played in the fourth quarter despite being down like 40 points. He got it done. Cam Thomas. I finally, finally, Cam Thomas started shooting the ball well and he soared over, scored over 40 points. We had day one of the ladder challenge. And while it was all NFL, we do count it towards the NBA record to make my life and your life easier to see how we're doing on it. And then Donovan Mitchell. They didn't really score a lot of points yesterday. He had 13 assists. I'd be curious how many assist chances he had. Just wasn't really too aggressive scoring. Also, the Hawks are kind of just double teaming him. And he was just passing it, and Jared Allen went off. But either way, a three in one day, we will take it. Let's move into Sunday's picks. It is Sunday. So I always say out there, NBA a little bit weird on Sundays. You just see weird things happen. Very similar to other sports like MLB, always a weird on Sundays because uh, I don't really know. I don't know how to explain it, but it just is what it is. So I only have two picks today plus the ladder, which we'll talk about at the end of the video, but we do have more picks in the NFL. Our best bets video was posted, I believe on Saturday, Friday. I don't really remember Saturday, yesterday. It was posted. It has our best bets for Sunday, four picks. I really like it. We went one and two on, on Saturday, cash in our one and a half unit play. So only down about a half unit, but I really like the card we have for Sunday's NFL. NFL slate. We also post our NFL parlays video as well. We've done really well on these. I think we have a plus 500 and a plus 600 parlay this weekend for Sunday that we really like. So check those videos out. I'll link them at the top of the description and in the pinned comment section down below. And we'll also talk about the ladder later on, which will be on the NFL slate today. But let's dive into the picks today. We got two of them. We'll start with the first one. And it's going to be a guy by the name of Chris Middleton. We're taking his over 22 and a half PRAs minus 115 on Caesars. Now, Sometimes you will see the books move up, and I think some books are at 23 and a half for Chris. Personally, in my preference, and I know I get a, this comment or this question in the comments a couple different times per day. It's asking me, "Hey Austin, would you prefer to take a juice for this example? Would you prefer to take a juice? You know, minus 135, minus 140, uh, Middleton PRA at 22 and a half, or do you prefer to get better odds but on a 23 and a half? I'm always of the mindset, hey, I'd rather take the 23 and a half if if it is like a points line. Now, if we're talking rebounds or assists where you just talk about an individual stat like that where going up one is a bigger change then you might see me lean more towards taking the more juiced line but for something like this where you're going to need 23 pras from chris middleton asking him for one more you know less than five percent difference so that's normally how, how my mindset is if the lines do change but let's talk about why we actually like chris middleton today why we're going to be rolling with him now you look at so far this season obviously chris middleton's been on a minutes restriction but this season he's averaging 12 and a half points per game five rebounds per game and 4.3 assists per game good for 21.8 pras in 22.6 minutes now obviously came into the year with the minutes restriction they were kind of keeping them at 15 to 20 minutes but over the last four games milton obviously been playing more minutes 15.3 points per game 8.3 rebounds per game and nearly six to six per game i mean that's 29.6 pras in 29 and a half minutes per game that's the guy that averages nearly a PRA per minute. And that's just kind of what he's been doing. And while some of that is a little bit inflated due to a couple matchups versus the Pacers, a team that we know doesn't play a whole lot of defense, but he's still done well against other teams that do play defense like the Knicks and the Bulls. And he's going up against a tough defense in Houston. But you look at him, just he's seen 29 minutes in four straight games. He got the day off yesterday, whereas his whole team, all of his teammates played. Well, I'm not saying any of his teammates rest here, but there are there's always a chance that the NBA on a Sunday, everything is wacky. But I just think he'll be a little bit more well rested than his teammates. And I think he has the best matchup out of anyone on his team. Now, I'm not saying this is a good matchup for Middleton, but I think about the guy that's gonna guard to Damian Lillard, probably going to be Dylan Brooks. And if he gets into foul trouble, they'll transition their best defender onto him. You got Jabari Smith Jr., a very solid young defender guarding Giannis, and they're going to wall off the paint if Giannis gets a full head of steam going down at him. And then I think at the end of the day, Chris Wilson's going to kind of be the guy that ends up with the ball in his hands, going to get some open looks from the three-point line. I just think he has a bunch of shots today. And look, he's had a really good track record against Houston, although, you know, take that with a grain of salt because this is a much different matchup than it has been in years past, given their new head coach, Ime Udo. But I really do think Middleton has a good chance. I think this line's still a little, a little bit too soft. It was like 24 and a half, 25 and a half. I'm probably out on Middleton right now, but I really think this line's a little bit too low given he's gotten up to the 30 minutes restriction. So I'll ride with Chris Middleton. Give me his over 22 and a half PRAs. Like I said, it goes to 23 and a half. It has my sign of approval. I really like Middleton on Sunday. And then my other pick is I think is going to an earlier game. There's two like three, 3.30 p.m. start times. This guy on my shirt. If you were peeking at my shirt, it's Victor Wembanyama. I like his over 33 and a half points. 
plus rebounds, minus 115 on Bet365. I also like this at 34 and a half. If you do have the ability to do the same game parlay, I don't mind one Benyama for like 20 points and 10 rebounds. That was about minus 105 to minus 120, depending on the book you were looking at. I was going back and forth. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to take, but I really like one Benyama today against the, the, the New Orleans Pelicans, San Antonio back at home here. And we've seen Wemby will obviously move to the center position a couple days ago. And you'd think, awesome, wasn't he starting at center? This guy's seven foot four. Not technically, they had Zach Collins in the starting lineup, but now he's back at the center spot and they're surrounding him with Malachi Branham. You got Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson, and, and Jeremy Sohan are normally the four guys surrounding him. But since that move four games ago, he's had 41, 33, 43, and 28 points plus rebounds. He's averaged 22 rebound chances. So he's had a ton of rebounds in these past couple games. We've seen him have games with, you know, 15, 16, 18, 20 rebounds in these games. That would not surprise me tonight. That would, you know, if he does that, cool, awesome. We would love that. But, and and for the people that are asking, why aren't we taking his PRA line? His PRA line was 36 and a half and 37 and a half on some books. I like Wemby to get, you know, two, three assists, but he needs to get three assists for these lines to be equal. He needs to get more than that, four assists or more to make the PRA line worth it. I don't necessarily love his chances to get four or more assists. He could get it done. That would not surprise me. I just rather trust him to just get points and rebounds. That's something I really like this matchup for him in. We've seen, saw the last game against the Lakers when he had 28 points plus rebounds. Didn't shoot the ball well from the field, went five for 13, 38%. Zach Collins played well in that game off the bench. He is now a little bit banged up. He is expected to play though, but he is a little bit banged up with a knee injury. So maybe you know you see Wemby get a couple extra minutes, just kind of monitor Zach Collins, but also Devin Vassell scored 36 points and Br Kelvin Johnson didn't have a great game. But I think the only thing, or I mean, the Pelicans are a decent defensive team. They have one really good defender in Herb Jones. I imagine he's the guard that guy that guards Devin Vassell. So it makes his life a little bit more difficult. Kelvin can do his thing, but he's probably getting, you know, defended by probably Brandon Ingram, who's still a solid defender. And I think we're going to see the Spurs probably have to guard Wemby Nyama with Jonas Valanciunas. I mean, if they don't want to do that, Wemby will have a mismatch match down low against anyone they put on him but probably Jonas will guard him and that's just a mismatch Jonas can't move his feet well and I imagine we'll see Wemby involved in a lot of pick and rolls and he'll probably have a lot of pick and pop opportunities where he's wide open three pointers and I'm willing to bet my money on Wemby to go off tonight is I looked at his regular over I think 21 and a half points and I did consider that but I think at the end of the day we've seen Wemby he could have 20 points tonight and got 15 boards, and that really doesn't surprise anyone. So I'd rather do the points and rebounds here for Wimben Yama. I think he has a really good matchup against Jonas Valanciunas. This is a Pelicans team that does give up a lot of rebounds to opposing team, to, you know, centers. And I really think this is a good spot to back Wemby. We've had a pretty good track record with him this season. I really like the move to center for him. This you know Spurs team has looked a lot better with him there. I think they get him going tonight. 13 field goal attempts last game, a little bit low for him. I think he gets closer to 15 to 20, which he had been doing in you know the past couple games. And we're just betting on him knocking down some shots. We know how talented he is. He could score 30 points. He could do that, 25, 30 points. We also know he's been grabbing those boards, 12, 13, 14, 15 rebounds. Definitely possible. So, Wembenyama, rooting for you, man. Go have a big night. And then, obviously, my third play will be the ladder challenge. will be day two. We always play these for one unit in addition to the $10, which is now $20 that we're rolling over. Finally, it felt good to get that monkey off the back, getting a win yesterday. I'm probably going to go to all NFL today just because – I like the NFL a little bit more than an NBA on Sunday. Obviously, we use a lot of NBA legs in, in the parlays, but I really think it's a little bit safer to go to the NFL today. So stay tuned for that. Once this video is posted, I'll be working right on it. So stay tuned. Should be live by, I don't know, I'm recording this at 8.30 a.m. Should be live probably around 10, 10.30, 11 a.m. at the latest because I want to make sure you guys have plenty of time to tail. But it's Austin. Let's say go 2-0 plus the ladder. Let's go 3-0, extend our 6-1 run. Let's have a wonderful day. I will see you guys back in the next one, which will be on Monday. And uh, if you want to go check out those two NFL videos, our best bets video, I'll link it right here. It'll be the top one. Right below it will be the uh, the parlays video. And then over here, you'll see my day in the life or my Vegas in-season tournament uh, video from the second channel. If you want to go show it some love, it's over there as well. You guys have a wonderful Sunday. Also, I'll probably link the, the YouTube short when the, the day two is live. So probably the day in uh, the other personal second channel video. Probably get the boot. But either way, that is how it works. It's Austin signing out. Have a great Sunday. See you guys in the next one. Peace.